it took a while, but we're going to be going up, we're going to be reviewing the Hungarian Grand Prix, and boy, that was chaotic, and more importantly, we're going to see who takes home the most unusual trophy. I wouldn't say, I'm going to take that back. Is it, is it unusual? Maybe, depending on which part of the world you're from. And now the big question is, who's walking away with the ornamental urn? That's all coming up on Post Checker Flag. Hey everyone, Mike from LA1 here. Welcome back. If you guys are watching uh, some of the stuff, I did trim the beer down. But we got some news regarding IndyCar, and this one kind of hit close to home. Well, the mass, there is a mass mandate for the Long Beach Grand Prix, Grand Prix, which I am hoping to go, and I'm hoping to vlog for you guys my experience there. Man, hope, hopefully this doesn't lead to a cancellation. I'll talk more about this later. I am hoping to go, because I, since I'm still out of work, thank you, COVID. But now, hopefully I get a chance to go. Do I see this race getting canceled? Probably not. However, I do think this is going to discourage a lot of people who have yet to get the vaccine, but I do think that number is going to change once the FDA approves it for full use rather than just the emergency. Well, as, and as more and more treatments and vaccines start to come back to this variant, we could see more and more things starting to get back to normal. But it's going to come down to what Portland does. But anyway, without anything any more time, here's the top 10. And let's see who scored the points in the, in the Hungaro ring. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out who your top 10 point scorers for. The Hungarian Grand Prix. Alright, here we go. In 10th place. Kimi Raikkonen. In 9th place. Max Verstappen. We'll talk more about him in a little bit. In 8th place. Something I did not see coming. George Russell. And here's what's crazy enough. If one Williams scoring points wasn't crazy enough, in seventh place, Nicholas Latifi. Yes, both Williams scored. And what's well, shocking, Latifi scored more points than Russell. But you're going to have to, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Latifi. I'm going to have to put an asterisk next to that because... Russell still has points from the Shakir Grand Prix last year. So Latifi still got his first points nonetheless, so big congratulations to him. In sixth place, Yuki Sonoda. In fifth place is his teammate, Pierre Gasly. Good run for Gasly. In fourth place, Fernando Alonso. Now here's where things start to get interesting. In third place. Picking up his second podium of the season. We'll talk more about that in just a second. It's Carlos Sainz. In second place, get in there, Lewis. Lewis Hamilton. And in first place, what a monumental upset this is. Esteban Akon has won the Hungarian Grand Prix. I cannot believe that. Akon has pulled the upset. So could this be our only upset of the year? And not to mention, we heard the French National Anthem on the top of the podium two years in a row. And the I think this is, when was the last time Alpine or Renault actually won a damn race? 
I think it was Kimmy Ra- Kimmy Raikkonen one, I think. I could be wrong. No, I, I hate to bring this up, but Lewis was originally third and Sainz was fourth. Because Sebastian Vettel was supposed to finish second, but unfortunately, there was a gap issue with the car, and as a result, he got disqualified. I I know this. I really feel bad for Zeb. Now watch him win at Belgium in a couple of days. And next week. Actually, watch him win next week. Not to mention, we had a huge, huge wreck that pretty much took out most of the field. In particular, it took out Sir, take, took out Lance Droll, Charles Leclerc, boy, his bat season out to a shitty start, and also Sergio Perez, oh, taken out as well, along with Mr. To Whom It May Concern, Valtteri Bottas, also DNF'd. Even frickin' Lando Norris got disqualified. Got DNF'd. Now we also, we had another DNF, but this one actually kind of sucks. <laughs> and this one, yeah, we have to talk about Mazepin. Honestly, Mazepin was up to a pretty solid, but we all, but let's be honest. His race starts is usually very good, but as the race progresses, the race pace, his race pace falls off a damn cliff. But this one wasn't on him. He was entering the pit lane, but all of a sudden, Alfa Romeo, despite the fact they had an unsafe release, Kimi Raikkonen, and ended up breaking the suspension of Mazepin's car, putting Mazepin out of the race. But thankfully, honestly, Mazepin kind of, even though I feel kind of bad for Mazepin, however, we need to talk about this guy. Mick Schumacher, who might be re-signing with Haas for next year. And his, the data that he got from the Hungarian Grand Prix is really going to help Haas out for next year. He finished 13th, but he gave Max Verstappen everything he had. And even he challenged, even he, I think he also challenged Fernando, I think. Gave Lewis a good fight as well. Safe to say, Haas might be on the right track, but are we going to see the end of Mazepin? I don't know. Whew. Man. So Alpine, or Alpine, got their first win of the season. So this is, the Constructors' Championship is going to be very, going to get extremely interesting from here as we get ready to head to Spa Francorchamps next year in a couple of days' time. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this goes. So I guess that's it from here, guys. So thank you guys for watching this edition of Post Checker Flag. And I will see you guys with the next, re the next review with the Hungarian Grand Prix. Thanks for watching, everyone.